All right, tubes. Working on uh, getting all the final things ready on this uh, water cooler. I got Mike here, which is good. How you, doing? you know, when Mike is here and he does the work and I do the filming, it you know it just things go a lot faster. Things get done. That's what it is. Yeah. And what he's doing now is uh, we have the chain. I'm gonna hook the chain up, and uh, yeah. I, I put some. I bought some uh, half links. Yeah. And we're gonna put that in there. Even with a half link, it, it's gonna be just slightly a little sloppy, but. You know, we can. We didn't. We didn't want to put big elongated holes because. No. Let me come around here. We just don't have the room, right? The bolt is uh, less than a half inch away. Let me come up this way. You can see it's less than a half inch off the the end here, so you really couldn't put any. Uh, you couldn't elongate it. No. What we can do is, we can elongate it maybe just just an eighth inch or so, which would be in, perfect. in either direction, yeah. which is going to take up the last little bit of slack after put the half link in, yeah. and it'll be fine. You know, it's not. We don't need to make it tense like a bell. You got to remember that. You know? Right. You don't want it like a belt. And another thing with chains, when people people don't realize when you take these chains apart and you take a link out, you can't just take a link. You got to you got to take three links, and with a half link, show them what a half link is, Mike. A lot of people don't even know what it is. Here's a picture of one. See? There's one. There's one there, right there in the bin. Let's take it. No. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's what half link is. Yeah. It's a half link, and then you put right. it together. Right. See. That's, that's that's a full link and a half link, so they're the same size. Right. You see, but this, you know, with this, you can actually fit it in uh, inside there like right. that. So that's the convenient part about yeah. those. Because somebody had asked me, you know, ain't they going to throw your uh, your teeth off and everything? Mm -hmm. No, versus like this is, you right. know, you've got the the out the outer plates here. You know what I mean? So yeah. if you were going to connect that, like you said, you've got to remove really, you know, you can say you got to remove three pins, right? Right to to remove one link. So with this, you can only remove two pins, so it makes it a lot easier. Well, right. it, it gives you that that in between size. So. Right. So it'll work, and and then we only have to elongate these. It's so small you won't even realize it. Yep. So, okay. What were you doing before I interrupted you, Mike? You were. Uh, well, we kind of ran into an interesting problem. Not really a problem, but a interesting observation where it. Whereas the the half link here. Half link's got comes with a pin, and uh, when we when we when you rejoin the half link to the chain, you can you have to install another pin there. Well, the pin the half link comes with, it must be maybe a different manufacturer or something like that, or just the fact that it's made overseas by something. Um, the problem we're having is that the pin that they provide fits in this hole here in the half link, but it's just these holes here in the, the, the side plates of the regular chain are just a tiny bit too small for the pin to fit through. So what I'm just going to do is... Uh, where's the pin? There's the pin. I'm just gonna find the drill that allows that allows me to go in there. Just it's if I if I pushed hard, I could probably get that probably. slide in there. But just to, to take a little bit, there may be a burr right there from mm. when we ground the head of the pin off. But just to allow me to slide the pin through and uh, and rejoin it with the half link. So just in the process of figuring that out now. Okay. Oh, so much for that. Ah, going forever. Right. I found it. Don't worry. Right. Good thing that wasn't a, a four-pound bar. All right. I guess so. All right. Keep going, buddy. All righty. Mike's gonna uh, grind the head off of that uh, thing there. Ready? Yeah, you know, Mike? Just, I love these little things here. Do you? Oh yeah. boy. <laughs> Yeah, them things work great. I love them. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. I, I the last chain I did, this little baby chain I used on a grinding wheel, and you could you couldn't couldn't get your hands on it or anything. Look at that get right in there. Yeah, let me see if I can knock that out. Mm. I don't know. I'll just see. I grind the other end off since you got it in the machine. Oh yeah? Well yeah. I have to flip it over, so let me try tapping it. Alright, go ahead. What the heck? 
Alright, so Mike's doing. Oh, what have we got hey. here? Pizza man! Hey, Pizza up? delivery boys here. What's up, tubes? Yeah. <laughs> what's going on? Alright, we're gonna have, we're gonna take a break here. Dinner time. Alright. All right. Put that down, Mike. We got we got something else to do. Oh boy. Alright, how'd you make it out of here, buddy? Oh pretty well, I think. Let's see. Oh look at that. That's uh, looks nice and tight. Yeah, there's a little bit of Yeah, you you need something. Oh yeah, it's not a belt, you know. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's yeah. pretty fine. I have you know, it's, it was hardly noticeable in the amount I had to move the engine, so... Right. Alright, let's, uh... Let's hook up our heater. What? The heater. What? <laughs> I can't hear you. It must be that chain. The damn chain's too loud. <laughs> Slow down, that chain. I can't hear you. <laughs> How am I making out over here, buddy? Got a little bearing block, uh, bearing holders done there. Okay. Got our bearings pressed in there, so welded on just a flat plate right now and this is going to go something like this which I'm sure most of you guys have figured it out by now yeah I showed that in the last video but you know I had the camera in one hand and yeah. the fan in the other two hands and yeah something like that it's going to sit in, sit right in the duct let me go around here because I'm, I'm shooting into the light oh boy I don't want to have to hear that there we go yeah so it's going to sit right in there actually it's going to rotate that direction so good. it's only hitting the side because I can't hold Because you can't hold it steady. steady enough, yeah. Yeah, and what, what, would, what we're going to do is weld on two flat plates in this orientation coming out from the, the, the two uprights here. And then we'll oblong the two holes in this direction on this plate and then in this direction on this plate. So we've got in and out and side to side and any way we want pretty much. You know, that's so tight that if we just... Oversize that hole. We can yeah, exactly. You're, you're you're right. Yeah. If we if we're going to use a quarter inch bolt, if we drilled a five sixteenths hole, right. use the washer, it would just be fine. Yeah. In itself. So I'm not. Well, yeah. It's actually you can see. It is, man. You don't have there's, much. There's there's the shaft right. There's the gear. So the sprocket's going to be, I guess, about no, about right there on the shaft. So it's not like the, the sprocket's mm -hmm. going to be hanging out. No, I left you know? plenty of room there. Yeah. It, it should be. It should be quite. Yeah, Quite that's going to look good. Really, you know. Hmm. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's going to do its job. Uh, depending on what RPM we run the engine at, the fan uh, you know, might not move quite enough air to keep it cool, but, you know, we could always... Uh, Actually, you know, I hooked it up to a drill. Yeah. You know, spinning at about 600 RPM, and it was, it was throwing good air. Yeah, okay. Well, we yeah. only need a little draft to go through there. Yeah. Um, if we actually, have to, you know, we'll pitch or we'll re-pitch them. Yeah, exactly. If we just... Like, we got an unlimited amount of power pretty much for this fan if we, mm -hmm. you know, do a little bit of tweaking on the blades. So we've got the clearance there. Mm -hmm. We could tweak them quite a bit, actually. And, we could uh, even change sprockets if we really want to get goofy. Yeah, we could if we wanted to up the RPM. The only thing is, I don't know, I'm trying to keep the, the, the chain speed as low as possible mm -hmm. just to eliminate noise. So if we've got if we've got a smaller sprocket up here and we got the chain, uh, you know, spinning that sprocket quickly you're going to get a lot more noise on that from mm -hmm. that one sprocket so um well, well until so. we get this running we're not gonna we really don't know anything I'm we're, not ju we're just guessing so yeah, i'm not concerned with it so research and development buddy that's right it's part of the game that's it all right all right we're uh, doing a little brainstorming now that's where you're gonna let me grab that mike that's where, yeah, there you go. Uh, and that'll be underneath, actually, right? Uh, well, oh. I didn't even think about doing it like that. Oh, right I, was just, I was going to have it up top, something like that, really. And doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. Something, yeah. it's going to be nice and nice and close right there. Hmm. Yeah, something along, along the lines of that, right? And then, like I said, this is, this hole, we're actually going to go with the oversized hole idea, so that we have kind of a universal amount of travel there. Just, a, hmm. you know, an extra sixteenth in each direction. Right. Because it's it's really the, it's close. the fan is very close, yeah. and then it's gonna be something like that, and then I can't decide if we're gonna need another set of another leg, maybe even just a third leg down. I don't think maybe. so. No, because yeah, because I mean it, it's gonna spin so easy. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. I just don't know. You know that depending on the RPM, that chain might right, might right. want to you know resonate, and because this right. is this is rigid, but. It, it does flex a bit. We well, you know, it's, we don't want a I think it's, it's loose right now. Is it? Yeah, when that's tight, I mean, that's, yeah. you know, that, that's, that's solid as a rock. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, it's it's easy enough to test it. If we yeah. change, it's no big deal. Yeah, all the, all the stuff here, we don't know until we do it. Right. You know? 
no well, sense in over engineering. Not right. No, we try it. No sense in creating problems that aren't there. Simplicity. That's exactly. Right. All right. So. Well, actually, all this stuff that we had done here tonight actually uh, took quite a while. You don't realize how, you know, just, just making this chain and stuff and, and just welding all this stuff up and getting these pushing, pressing these bearings in and stuff like that. Yeah, you know? yeah, welding on, you know. And you know, you, you think you're not making any progress, but, you know, all that little bit helps, so. Mm -hmm. It's getting kind of late. I know you got to leave, so. Uh, Time to hit the road, yep. Yeah, maybe I'll dick around with it a little bit over the, over the weekend and uh, see what I can do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, uh. No problem. After, after we fix this, uh, I guess we, we'll plumb it. All yeah, right. right. Once you get that done, it's that's literally filled with gas, filled with water. You know, run the tubing, that's it. Yeah. So, I'm ready to go. All right. Well, we got a good bit done. And then even, even a, I'll make a wire, you know, for a mm -hmm. spark plug and ground it out and stuff. Yep, yep. All right. Engine, engine's done. Yeah. I think that's enough for tonight, Mike. All right. Sounds Say goodbye good. to your buddies. Take it easy. Thanks. Bye, tubes. Enough of this.